the first thing to clarify for you is that apart from the 49 percent that the federal government owns they also collect 30 percent company income tax which means that effectively nearly 70 percent of what nlng makes goes to the federal government so you know you would indeed wonder why an agency of the government would be stopping uh, the you know the, the, the production that will generate uh, money in in the period of of the blockade which lasted over three weeks we actually lost uh, several hundreds of millions of dollars uh, 70 percent of which would have gone to the uh, federal government but you know what was really happening was was two things um, one this the 70 percent that i described the 49 percent of the shareholding and the 30 percent coming into contacts normally will be paid to the federation account because that is money that belongs to the federal government. And if that is paid, it gets into an account that the um, governors, the presidency, the ministers will all have to decide how it was going to be spent. But uh, shortly before the demand for this money from us, uh, which was actually $140 million, not $20 million, they had classified, the government had classified NEMASA as a revenue uh, uh, agency, uh, like the central bank, they classified a few agencies like that. And what that classification meant was that 75% uh, of whatever they collect stays within them. And they only remit back 25% to the federal government. So the point being that they were demanding for $140 million. $105 million of that will remain with them in Nemasa. The they would only remit the balance to the government. Unlike if we had remitted the whole $140 million to the government, it will go into this account that everybody will see. So it's the ability to retain this $105 million in their uh, account for them to use uh, was what drove this whole a blockade. So they were prepared to starve the Federation of money because they wanted to collect money. And I think as we all have seen after, uh, you know, several court cases, uh, I mean, of course, we, we went to court after we paid on that protest, the whole $140 million judgment was given after about, uh, I think after about uh, four years, judgment was given in our favor for them not only to refund the $140 million, but to pay us about $300 million that we lost. Uh, they've subsequently appealed, and, and so it's going through uh, still in court cases, but the court determined clearly that what they did was wrong. We were right that they were demanding for an illegal uh, fee from us, and uh, the, the, the rationale, as I've explained, was because they wanted to have that money to themselves. And as other court cases have shown, many officials of NIMASA have today been convicted uh, of stealing billions of, of Don Naira, and have been some of them have been sentenced to, to jail terms as well. So I think that was the what was playing out. Uh, most people were were not able to see through the the charade and, and thought that it was money that should have gone to the Federation account. No, 75% of the money was being retained inside the massa for their own. <laughs>